Hey everyone, it's Brian here, your honest mechanic. Ever wondered what might cause a blown head gasket? Well, you're about to find out. Let's start with the basics. A head gasket is a vital component in your vehicle's engine, acting as a seal between the engine block and the cylinder head. Picture it as the peacemaker, ensuring things run smoothly by maintaining the efficiency and integrity of the engine. It's a multitasker too. Its primary function is to seal the combustion chambers, allowing the engine to build the necessary compression for its operation. It's like a bouncer, keeping the combustion gases contained within the cylinders. The head gasket also serves as a diligent guard, preventing engine oil and coolant from leaking into the combustion chambers or mixing together. This separation is crucial for the efficient operation of the engine. Lastly, it's a master of temperature regulation. By keeping the coolant and oil separate and in their respective passages, the head gasket ensures the engine temperature is regulated and cooling is efficient. So, now that we understand the crucial role of a head gasket, let's delve into what might cause it to fail. There are numerous reasons why a head gasket might blow. Let's explore some of the most common ones. First up, we have overheating. It's one of the most frequent culprits behind a blown head gasket. When your engine gets too hot, it can cause the cylinder head to warp or even crack. This warping creates gaps between the head and the gasket, leading to a breach in the seal. Next, we can't overlook the simple fact of wear and tear. Like most parts of your car, the head gasket isn't immune to the effects of time and use. The extreme conditions inside the engine, including high pressure and temperature, can gradually weaken the gasket, leading to its failure. Improper installation is another cause to consider. If the head gasket isn't installed correctly, it can result in uneven pressure distribution and gaps. Over time, this can cause the gasket to fail. Then there's material failure. If the material the head gasket is made from isn't suitable for the specific conditions of your engine, or if there's a manufacturing defect, the gasket can fail. Poor maintenance is another common cause. Regular maintenance is crucial to keep your engine running smoothly. If you neglect this, it can lead to issues like coolant contamination or low coolant levels. These problems contribute to overheating and, you guessed it, head gasket failure. Let's not forget about detonation or pre-ignition. These abnormal combustion events create excessive pressure in the combustion chamber, which can overwhelm and damage the head gasket. Lastly, we have chemical degradation. The head gasket can be degraded by chemical reactions, especially if the wrong type of coolant is used or if the coolant becomes acidic over time. So, as you can see, a head gasket can blow for a variety of reasons. It's not always easy to pin down the exact cause, but understanding these common factors can help you prevent a blown head gasket in the future. As we've seen, a blown head gasket can be due to several reasons. But how can we identify if our head gasket has indeed blown? Hey there, are you enjoying the video? We're about to dive into the symptoms of a blown head gasket, but before we do, here's a quick pause. If you're finding this video helpful and want to stay updated with more of our content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing not only supports our channel, but it also ensures that you won't miss out on any new videos we put out. We cover a wide range of topics, all aimed at helping you understand and maintain your vehicle better. All right, enough said, let's get back to the video and find out how to spot a blown head gasket. Identifying a blown head gasket early can save you from a lot of trouble and expensive repairs. Here are some symptoms you should look out for. Firstly, an overheating engine can be a telltale sign of a blown head gasket. When the gasket fails, it disrupts the flow of coolant, causing the engine to overheat. If your temperature gauge is constantly in the red or your warning light is flashing, it could be a sign that your head gasket is blown. Next up, white smoke from the exhaust. This isn't your typical exhaust fume. It's thicker and has a sweet smell. This happens when coolant enters the combustion chamber and burns off as white steam. So if you notice a cloud of white smoke every time you start your car, it's time to investigate further. Another symptom to keep an eye out for is a significant drop in your coolant level without any visible leaks. This could indicate that the coolant is leaking internally into the combustion chambers through a damaged head gasket. Regularly check your coolant reservoir. If it's always low despite frequent top-ups, you might be dealing with a blown head gasket. 
Moving on, let's talk about oil. Not just any oil, but milky, light-colored oil. This happens when coolant mixes with engine oil, creating a frothy residue. You can spot it under the oil filler cap or on the dipstick. If your oil has taken on a milky hue, it's a strong indication that your head gasket has failed. Lastly, watch out for bubbles in the radiator or coolant reservoir. This is not a magic trick, but rather a sign of combustion gases leaking into the cooling system through a blown head gasket. When you rev the engine, if you see bubbles rising in the coolant, it's time to have your head gasket checked. So, if you notice any of these symptoms, it's best to get your car checked immediately to avoid further damage. Remember, prevention is always better than cure.